Hey there, Jeff Clark from Acceloware. I thought today that uh, a lot of people have been asking me, um, what is the deal with this uh, Marwayne test site? Uh, what does it look like? What the what does the land look like? Where is it located? So I thought I'd just head up there, check it out, and maybe uh, give you some background on the test along the way, see some sites, and uh, maybe take some before and af after pictures to show exactly what's going on there. So let's go. Hey, taking a little break, get a stretch. Uh, just passed through the uh, town of uh, Hanna, uh, home of Nickelback, of course. And before that, I uh, rolled through Drumheller, which of course has all the fossils. And it was, just struck me that uh, Accelware's mission is to modernize the production of fossil fuels. So uh, there you go. Yeah, I was just thinking about uh, all the things that we've done to get the uh, technology ready for deployment here in our pilot at Marwain and I was thinking of back how we uh, started out uh, building electronics uh, at the office in Calgary. Um, we did some uh, testing and some preliminary designs there. We, we did some materials testing, dielectric testing of uh, you know, oil sands material at um, the University of Calgary. We did uh, electromagnetic uh, testing with uh, some of the test equipment at the University of Calgary. We did various tank tests, uh, large and small tanks um, at a facility in uh, Didsbury where we tested out our uh, different antenna structures, uh, different electronics, uh, power electronics. Um, and then we uh, took it up a notch and we did a uh, ditch test uh, just uh, west of Red Deer uh, and uh, tested out... Uh, In 10 kilometers, turn left onto 887T2. Whoops. <laughs> we did... Uh, we did the ditch test. Uh, we started off uh, just testing the RFXL antenna uh, structure, uh, uh, transmission line structure. Um, and then we, um, once we started working with GE on the silicon carbide electronics, um, we upped the game from uh, 1 20th scale uh, power to 1 quarter scale power. Uh, half a megawatt of power um, at that ditch test in um, just west of Red Deer. So now we're moving even farther north in Alberta, um, just northwest of uh, Lloyd Minster. And uh, all we really have to test now is the uh, deployment in a well in a oil bearing formation. So. Uh, that's why we're heading up to uh, Marwain today. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, we've come a long way, but we've done a lot of testing, uh, not to mention all the analytical work we've done, the simulations, the uh, electromagnetic simulation, the reservoir simulation, multi-physics uh, analytical uh, tests. So we're ready. We're ready to put this in the ground and I uh, can't wait to head up there and see what the site looks like. Here we are in the town of Manville. Manville is just west of Marwain. And Manville is interesting because uh, the geologic formation that we are drilling into called the Manville Group, uh, where we're going to have our horizontal wells, is named after the town of uh, Manville. So uh, here we are. Okay, we're here at the site. Um, I'm here with Maury Heathcote. He's going to be doing the uh, civil construction and some other stuff at the uh, site for us. And uh, he's just going to walk us through the area and uh, going to see what we're going to have in place here when we're done. We'll, uh, when we first get onto the site, we'll, we'll strip the, the topsoil and the subsoils off till we get to our clay, clay base. Then we'll construct our, do our drainage, put the slope in, uh, build our pads for where we know our infrastructure is going to be placed. And, uh, and uh, 
So we're going to, the well trajectory is this way. It's going off to the east. Yeah. Right, so this is in the east direction and uh, wells will be over there and uh, facilities will be over here. We may yeah. power running just to the south of us here. We'll not be able to access it down the county grid road and into our site. Lloyd Mister not pretty much any oil field services that we're going to need. It's very well established. It's only be 35 minutes away to site from here to Lloyd Minster. There's even, there's even some services in Marwain. There's welding services and uh, um, fabrication, construction type services in Marwain too, which is only 15 minutes away. Um, with the oil patch being here so long, there's a lot of good established companies that, uh, that provide really good services. Yeah, that's great. And also, uh... Close by, there's probably uh, uh, oil processing to handle the production and uh, uh, water disposal and things like that. Yes, there is actually. There's a husband battery that would be within three miles of us, where they uh, where they clean their oil and put it right directly into the pipeline, and they've got disposal wells in the area also. Yeah, perfect.